Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the VirtualBox extensions pack. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up VirtualBox. And you want to go ahead and click on the help menu and click on about VirtualBox. Now the information that we need from this about screen is the version number and mine is down here, which is 4.1.2. Your about screen might look slightly different to this, but it will have the version number on it, so just look for that. So once you've got it, you want to open up your web browser, and you want to head on over to download.virtualbox.org forward slash virtualbox. Now I'm going to throw this link down in the descriptions below, so you don't have to remember it. And once you're there, you need to look down this list for the number that matches your version number of VirtualBox. So mine was 4.1.2, which is just down here. So I'm going to click on that. And in this list, you need to find the extensions pack, which is usually at the top, that matches your version number. So mine is this one here. So I'm just going to click on that to download, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So once it's finished downloading, if you've still got VirtualBox open, I'd recommend that you close it now and then just double click on the extension pack. And as you can see, it launched up VirtualBox and we've got this message window up here, which is asking us do we want to cancel or install. So I want to install the extension pack and you just scroll down on the license agreement and click agree. And if you're on Linux, you will have to enter your administrative password because it's going to perform some administrative tasks. And once it's finished installing, you'll get a message that pops up saying it was installed successfully and just click OK to that. OK, so there's one more thing that we need to do, and that is to enable VirtualBox to actually have USB support in Linux. Now, it's really quick and easy, but what we actually need to do is we need to open up our user management application. So for me, it's this one here. We're looking for the users and groups application. It might be called something different depending on your distribution, but you want to open up the program that allows you to manage users and groups. So once that's open, you want to highlight the user that you want to manage and click on manage groups. We now need to scroll down to the VBOX users group and click on properties. We then have to add the user to that group. So all I'm doing here is just clicking on the tick box to add that user and click OK. And then enter your admin password. And that's all done. Now. The reason why we did that was because you may actually get a warning coming up inside a virtual box saying that it's unable to access your USB subsystem. And the reason behind that is that the user that you're logged in as is not a part of virtual box VBOX users group. So we've just added it now and all we have to do is close down virtual box and then log off and once we log back in again the changes will take effect and your USB devices will work so I'm just going to pause the video here while I log off and log back on and then just show you how that works okay so now that I've logged back in I've actually launched up a virtual machine just to show you that this works and if we just go down to this icon here, which is the USB icon, and right click, you can see that it's listing my USB devices that are plugged in right now. So you can also go to the devices menu in the top bar and go to USB devices and see a list of what's plugged in. So if I just plug in a USB key now and click on the USB icon down here, so right click on that, you can see that there's a new device that has been listed. So if I just click on that, you will see that the virtual box is now able to mount it and the files have popped up here. 
So that's how to install the extension pack. And with the extension pack, you're also able to do Pixie booting and RDP will be installed. So you can use the remote desktop protocol for your virtual machines. So that's the end of that tutorial on installing the VirtualBox extension pack. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech over on facebook.com forward slash Linux Leech and twitter.com at Linux Leech. So thanks for watching and goodbye.